honor of the late Harry Carey this season. Top of the first, a very rare moment. Not Mickey Morandini taking off for the steal, but Charles Johnson hucking it into center field. It's an error. First error in 173 games for Johnson. Next batter, the newest Cubby, Henry Rodriguez. H-Rod going deep. Welcome to the Chicago Cubs. A three-run shot off of Levon Hernandez, and it's 3-0 Cubs. Bottom of the first, 3-1. Gary Sheffield with two men on, trying to get them all back, and then some. And he does. Deep and gone off the upper deck over Bob Greasy, that noted first baseman. No, okay. 4-3, Marlins take the lead. It's 6-5 with two on in the bottom of the second, and Charles Johnson redeems himself with a three-run shot of his own. Marlins go up 9-5, tap, and he says, am I bleeding because I just got tagged? Two innings pitch, seven hits, nine earned runs for Tappany. An emotional banner raising ceremony, followed by a six run first, had the sell out at one, one out. Greg Maddox had intentionally loaded the bases with a walk to Jose Valentin. Mark Newfield then proceeds to ground into the one, two, three double play that Maddox was trying to induce. Top of the ninth, still tied at one, two outs, bases juice for John Jaha and Jeff Cirillo is caught napping off first with the bases loaded. A tremendous blunder to end the threat. So we're tied at one in the bottom of the ninth and another blunder. This from catcher Mike Matheny throws it down the left field line with Gerald Williams on third, who comes in to score, and the Braves win. Two to one. So the Brewers lose their first senior circuit game, but said Phil Garner, the National League is the by a new Hall of Famer, Larry Doby, he gets the first hug from Ken Griffey Jr., who in the bottom of the third, bottom of the fifth, pardon me, game tied at three, got his first home run of the season. A no doubt about her. One of three homers of, by the Mariners in the inning. It's a 9-3 lead, which they then hand over to the Bulls. It's now 9-7 in the eighth. Bases loaded. Manny Ramirez rips a double down the left field line off Mike Timlin. Kenny Lofton, Omar Vizquel, come on down. We are tied at nine. Two batters later, bases loaded. One little, two little, three little Indians. And Travis Fryman, newest Indian, busts out the walking stick. Mike Timlin walks in the go-ahead run. The Indians come all the way back. The Mariner fans let the Mariner bullpen hear their extreme dismay. And then the Indian bullpen wrapped it up. Paul Maasamacher comes in to get Griffey to pop out for two outs in the bottom of the ninth. And then Edgar Martinez, who had hit a two-run homer earlier in the game. Mike Jackson, the ex-Mariner, comes in to wrap it up. The, Ma the Cleveland bullpen retired all 13 batters it faced. And like last year, the... There's Alvarez on the hill. 45,369 fans at Tropicana Field on their feet. First pitch in Devil Race history, and it's a ball to Brian Hunter. All right. Umpire Rich Garcia sets the ball, double meaning aside, so it can go to the Hall of Fame. Woohoo! All right, scoreless top two. Sacks Jack for Joe Randa. Randa, get at me, dog. Smacks a line drive over Wade Boggs' head into left field for a double. Tigers open the second with five straight hits. Clark and Damien easily score. First runs given up by the Rays. Randa went three for six on the day, three RBI. Bottom third, six zip Tigers. Dave Martinez making history. Chopper that bounces off first base into right field for a single. Martinez two for three. Not pretty, but the Devil Rays first hit. Wade Box, who's got 2,094 singles in his 2,800 hits. Peace. Two run homer. First Devil Rays home run, Boggs, 110th career. Jack, he gets his props, but the Devil Rays get a loss. They lose 11 to six. Joe Oliver had three RBI. Bank one ballpark. Place also has a swimming pool in it. Buck Showalter's first game as manager since 1995. Jerry Colangelo gives fans Richard and Ashley Volpe the chance to throw out the first pitch. And it was about as good as Andy Bennis' first pitch. First pitch of the game. Hey, how did the umpire know it was a ball? Too many flashes going off. Bottom one, 22-year-old Travis Lee rocks Daryl Kyle's world. The guy who hit 331 in the minors, first diamondback hit. And then Lee takes Kyle out in the sixth. That's why Travis hit 32 homers in the minors last year. First run scored, first home run by the Diamondbacks. 5-1 Rockies, top seven. Runners on first and third for Vinny Castilla. Vinny says, I am not a player. I just crush a lot. He had three... He had 40 homers and hit 304-96. He had 40 homers and hit 304-97. This was the second of two opening day homers, his 15th career multi-homer game. And the Rockies beat the Diamondbacks 9-2. The Diamondbacks matched the most lopsided loss by an expansion team. In Cards looked sharp. Raul Mondesi looking. Then Trinidad Hubbard looking at the same pitch. Jose Vizcaino looking. 
Seven shutout innings for Stottlemyre, no runners past second. As for Ramon Martinez, bottom of the fifth, two on, two out. Mark McGuire on deck, got to get to Lionel DeShields, but uh-oh, he walks him to load the bases. The Cardinal fans sensing the moment, McGuire trying to seize the moment, and he got it. Told you it was coming. All right, I can't resist. <laughs> he got it. A grand slam. McGuire, he is pumped. The Cardinal fans are pumped. 4 0 Cardinal lead. Big Macklan. Oh, somebody in the Golden Arches marketing department's a thinker. McGuire. Action. The Mets, tough day against Kirk Schilling. Edgardo Alfonso looked just like one of a Philly record 319 batters Schilling Cade last year. Then John Olerud was like a deer in headlights. Schilling struck out nine in the game. Top seven, no score. Mark Lewis taps one to short. Ray Ordonez, serious barehanded flavor. He got the out. Ordonez, always flashy, but after 27 errors in 96, he only had nine last year, and he won a gold glove. Top eight runners on first and second, two outs. New Met pitcher Dennis Cook facing former Met Rico Bronia. Bronia <laughs> goes down looking at the fastball. Cook's only K. Even Kurt Schilling impressed by Cook's pitch. In the eighth, Cook got to be impressed by Schilling's pitch. There's Cook batting. There's Schilling's pitch. Cook says, okay. After nine innings, nothing but goose eggs on the scoreboard. Bottom 14, one out runners at first and second. No score. Bernard Gilkey smokes one to left. Brian McRae slips rounding third. Oh. Gilkey later said, I'm not sure what happened there. The Mets bench thought they had the game one until McCray slipped. Two outs, base is still loaded. Guys, get back. We're not over yet. Ricky Botalico facing Alberto Castillo. Castillo, the Mets' last position player, bringing the noise with the game-winning base hit. The Mets now 24-13 and 13 on opening day, the best record in the bigs. They win it in 14 innings in dramatic form. How about it for the Mets? One zip. Their one zip 14 inning game. The longest opening day, one nothing game since the Senators clip. Came the fifth inning when Robin Ventura touched him for a two run shot. With Albert Bell on first. It's two nothing Sox to the fifth. Still in the fifth now, four nothing. Ray Dermott third. Frank Thomas our pick to click. Rips one down the left field line. It's five nothing Sox. Still on the fifth inning, still 5 nothing. Albert Bell, base hit. Mike Cameron, Frank Thomas, come on down at 7 nothing. Matt Karchner now, and a base is loaded jam in the bottom of the eighth. Kevin Elster up the middle, and there's Caruso flashing some leather to get it for the force to Ray Durham. Bottom of the ninth, Fernando Tatis to left center. Mike Cameron on his imaginary horse leaps and makes the catch. That's your standing play of the year so far. Mike Cameron, your SB front runner for baseball player of the year. All right, maybe I'm going a little too far. That's okay. It's opening day. You're excited. Okay. 9-2 is your final. Bell Thomas, orange carpet treatment. Ray Miller in his first opening day. So his manager gets no carpet. Mike Messina, very Messina-like early. Johnny Damon swinging. Jose Offerman looking. Then in the second, Mike Sweeney. Swinging. You see, he struck out 11 in eight innings. Meanwhile, Tim Belcher matching him strikeout for strikeout. Eric Davis striking out. In the second, Cal Ripken looking. Belcher struck out six O's. And then, where the man on first gets BJ Surhoff to ground into the 1 6 3 inning ending double play with two outs in the seventh. Eric Davis on first. And Sweeney. Throws him out. Belcher didn't allow an Oriole runner past first base in seven innings. This despite having a spring ERA of 11.66. Rookie Larry Sutton, who beat out Jermaine Dye for the outfield spot, was your offensive hero. Two-run single there in the fourth. He had three RBIs. Royals win 4-1. to the For the injured Barry Larkin, top one, Kilvio Barris at first. Steve Finley to Pokey. Pokey, my bad. You know, Barry Larkin only had five errors in 63 games last year. Pokey got to step it up, right? I'm not sure. Varus at the plate. Reese bobbles the ball. Error number two. Reese only had one error in his 60 games last year. Top three, Tony Gwynn, routine grounder. Pokey Reese bobbles it and kicks it. Four errors in three innings. He said, I've never had four. That was bad. He ties a big league record for errors by a shortstop on opening day. Top seven, pods up four zip. Tony Gwynn. Booyah! Gwynn, who had 372 last year. He had a career high 17 homers last year. The power surge continues in Rich. You said it. I said That's right. Still top seven. Bases loaded. Pitcher Kevin Brown at the plate. You know, Kevin's only a career 125 hitter. But check out Brown. Base clearing double play. Double pass Reggie Sanders to the wall in center field. Besides a double, Brown pitched six and a third. Gave up five hits and one run while striking out seven. 
The Reds' 10 2 loss was their worst opening day drop in 36 years. It's the Padres' most lopsided opening day win in their 30 year existence, and it was Pokey Reese's worst day, period. Hopefully, he said, I can get it out of my way now. I'm still shaking. A pair of divisional winners, Giants and Astros, open against each other. Astros raising their NL Central Championship banner. Jeff Kent, break me off a little something, something, kid. Top third, Kent, who had career highs last year with 29 homers and 121 ribs. Three runs shot to left. He had a career high five hits in this game. Bottom four, Strohs down 3-2. Coming back, Craig Biggio, right up the gut. Brad Ausmus scores from second to tie it at three. Biggio, two for six. They go to extra innings, tied at four. Top 13, tied at four, one out the Giants. Ray Sanchez, the go-ahead run on third. Pinch hitter Alex Diaz grounds it up the middle, off Tim Bogar's glove. The single scores Sanchez. In one game, Diaz equals the number of pinch hits he had all last year. Giants tack on four more and win it nine to four in 13 innings. 